this show, Animals All, because it's about people interacting with animals, and the fact is, we're all animals. When I came back from Sicily, which is a place that has more Greek ruins than Greece, they had some beautiful museums that had uh, uh, vases with the animals on them. And then I wondered what it would be like when Diana was very, very young, before she started killing animals. So this is called the young Diana. This I'm calling music with a K because I want it to seem very old. Um, I don't hear very well anymore and the music, I don't hear music which is very bad. But I, but I thought to myself there are different kinds of music besides music that is made with instruments. This is a wolf um, howling and this is I was going to have it be a canary, but it's rather long for a canary. So it's just a bird song. And this is the most uh, basic of songs of music, which is someone singing. Why do you have your uh, pieces uh, hanging? I have I had them in my studio, but they never looked as good as they look here because they were not off the wall. Mm -hmm. And here you get some colored shadows. There's one that's very strong blue, which is more uh, what it would be if you hung it in a window. In this one, uh, someone is on a beach, but it is a beach where the little baby turtles are beginning to come out of the sand. They've come out of the egg, and they're coming out of the sand. So when you walk in this space, you have to be very careful not to step on one of them. I remember that Emily Dickinson wrote um, uh, a poem called Hope is a Thing with Feathers. And I thought, well, this is a bird with feathers. And so I decided to call it that. When I did this, <clears throat> it, the blue was just plain. I hadn't painted on it. But it seemed too much blue, so I uh, did this extra painting on it, and I think it enhances it somewhat. This is a girl just standing, but the birds that are house finches, you will find in the, the, our part of the country, these little birds nest in, in ivy, they nest on walls. Um, they are pulling out the hair of this girl to build their little nest. This has a special kind of um, wash, which is called a mat, and then it's been removed in these places where the checks are. This is about Long Beach, Washington, and uh, I often go to Long Beach, Washington, and this is a western sandpiper. This is the kind of blue bottle uh, from the 19th century that is washed up, and if you look very carefully at it, it says something like, hi, hello. <laughs> Someone has put a message in that bottle. There is a kite festival that goes on annually. These are painted, and this, I just used the caming, which is what holds these pieces of glass together uh, as part of the string, even though it's quite thick. This one is the most stylized, I think, of the group. It's the most sort of 50s kind of stylization. This is a funny piece of glass that I found in my studio, which is ribbed. And I found by doing this, I could make it look kind of as though it were water, as though he were standing in water. This one is um, the first one I made. It is a very fancy goldfish with very fancy wings and fins and uh, tail fins. There's a snail here. They're often used to clean the sides of tanks. And this person is looking directly into this tank, looking at this fish. In the background is a castle that it is going through. Uh, uh, these glasses are either uh, transparent or they have uh, like a tint colors? And some of them are very transparent. Uh, they suggest when you paint on glass, and this glass is is drawn on and then it's fired before it is made into a panel. Um, 
some of it is quite transparent. It's white. This one is very transparent. This one is not very transparent. It's, it's all, almost opaque glass. You can hardly see my hand behind it. This window is uh, a window that I call at my dentist because I went into my dentist. He had a fish tank in his waiting room and uh, I drew some uh, things that were happening. Someone was cleaning the tank at the time and here again I'm using the mat to show as the person is wiping with this sponge-like thing. When I went back they were all gone and the receptionist said they all died because uh, they died from the fumes of the shellac that they were putting on the uh, wood in the foyer. So I was glad that I actually had uh, captured them before that happened. This little fish is hiding in this kind of rock. It's pushed its little nose in. I use a powdered paint that is very similar to glaze. You mix it with water until it uh, has a consistency of glaze and then you have to paint it on. You paint it on with a brush is usually what I do. Then it has to be fired. I start out first deciding what it's going to look like. Uh, then I uh, cut the glass and do that by putting contact paper of the proper shape on. Uh, and then after I've cut it, then I have to paint, uh, paint it because it has to be fired and it cannot be fired once it's been made into a panel with this lead caming. After it's fired, I shove it all together and look at it and try to decide if it looks right. Sometimes it doesn't. But once you put it all together, you can't change it. <laughs> That's just the way it is. And sometimes I don't use ones that I don't like after I've put them together. I probably could use some bits of it if I took it apart. I haven't done that yet, but I might in the next one. Oh, I appreciate you doing this. Uh, it was fun.